Um, so we're standing here in front of this sweet looking uh, keyboard. It's actually for Star Wars, the Old Republic uh, PC game. And um, I'm standing here with Heathcliff Hatcher of Razor, who's going to give me uh, some in-depth info and definitely tell me about that really cool looking mouse. So this is our Star Wars The Old Republic product line for the recently announced uh, um, Star Wars The Old Republic MMO. We have a keyboard, a mouse, the mouse pad, as well as the headset. And one of the main unique features of this piece is the customization of it. Each product allows you to uniquely customize the product line for your needs and goals. So we have customization on the faction logo, so you can remove that off oh. and on. And you can decide whether you want to be a Republic or not. So Empire Republic, it's up to you. We have the same feature on the side of the mouse where you can remove so you the have, faction logo. So you have uh, emblem for the Sith and all of that. Yes. So and then on the mouse pad, it's the same. You flip it over. Oh, that's dope. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get all. I'm gonna change my allegiance there because that's <laughs> actually mine. And then, in addition to those customizable features, we have the same kind of customization built into the product line on a software and hardware level. So on the mouse, we have the ability, as you go through, here we're showing on the screen our Synapse driver system. Okay. And it actually allows you to assign custom macros, programs, lighting settings, and things like that across the entire product category. So you can do it from the mouse, and the headset, and even the keyboard. So you can customize each product to the way you want to use it with the Old Republic. Um, we have a full anti-ghosted gaming keyboard. Of course, we have uh, dynamic tactile keys. And one of the unique features of the uh, actual Star Wars Old Republic keyboard is the Switchblade UI. Now, we offer the same UI on the Blade PC, on our gaming PC. And what it does is it offers you unique apps as well as ways to interface with the title that you wouldn't have if you didn't have the dynamic UI. Um, I have a internet. I have an internet. Well, I have an internet browser. Okay. So right here, you can browse on the web. I have a YouTube. Well, it's actually a, a video browser. We have a, a visual. Um, we actually have a gaming mode that allows you to turn off the Windows key and Alt Tab and certain things like that. We have a visual macro recorder. One of the unique features of most of our keyboards is the macro record functionality, as well as assigning that to your mouse or keyboard or whatever. And you can do one touch recording, get your macro where you want it. But in this case, you could still do it in game because you have a visual screen to do it on. Also, we have a number pad, which is something that most keyboards have, but this one is uh, integrated directly into the actual UI. So you have the same kind of interface there. And then a trackpad mode. So you can use this with or without a mouse. So is that an LCD display? Yes. We have a, uh, an LCD on the bottom as well as a dynamic uh, tactile keys on the top, which are they're driven by an LCD below them. So can we purchase this in a bundle separately? What's the market? Um... Yeah, you could. Well, I mean, of course you can purchase them. We're not. I don't know. I mean, it's per retailer, okay. but you, you can purchase them all separately. You can buy them all in a in a group. Of course, we offer them on Razorzone.com as well as in you know all of our retail channels. So, and they're. Um, that most of the products are available right now. The keyboard will be shipping here in quarter one, uh, 2011. Awesome, thank you. I love, I love the customization. So can you also, can you also customize the keys? Like, like the lighting behind the keys? Most of the surface areas are gold, but we also have uh, the lighting elements that give you um, information or alerts from the game. Okay. So we have on the mouse, on the headset, and on the keyboard. Okay. Um, and so you can customize that to um, your own particular color, or you can also uh, get uh, game feedback from the game. So I'll give you an example. It's like if you hit a certain part in the game where you make a, a, a light side or dark side choice, it will change color or alert you that way <laughs> to let you know, give you a little more. That's awesome. Like, so I can, I can picture it flashing red if I make a, make a choice towards the dark side or like maybe a blue for the, that's yeah. how I would set it up, blue for the light, red for the dark. Yeah, mine's always red. Would there be a way to set it 
for if you progressively decide to go down one route or the other, it it gets it pulses deeper in that color. A lot of the actual like game, the the um, color integration, that kind of stuff, is done by uh, Bioware, okay. the, the game development team. So I mean, I'm sure if fans want to contact them and send them emails about what they'd love to have integrated into the alert system, uh, we'd be happy to have that.